Hey everyone, welcome back to Active Self Protection Extra here again with my friend John McLaughlin and we are at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale and we are going to shoot today Tom Gibbons 200 point roundup. Today's video is brought to you by the generosity of new bold targets. New bold targets are self-sealing reactive polymer targets that act like steel targets for training and practice but are safer than steel. They allow bullets to pass completely through the target without ricochet or lead splatter. Check out their links in the description and thank them for bringing us today's video. So I think shooting B8s is challenging, but important. Definitely. And uh, you know, cause what gets scored gets worked on, right? So this drill as a warm up. this is just a warm up. Now you can see we shot Chuck Pressburg's uh, no fail pistol drill earlier with no warm up. And <laughs> so this is what Tom shoots as a warm up for his practice sessions. And I think it's a great practice session. And what we're doing in these drills, I'm, I'm gonna do a whole series of these low round count drills. These are low round count because ammo is crazy expensive right, right yes. now. I was looking the other day and, and just so that, because this video is going to be on the internet for posterity, literally a case of like crap range ammo nine mil right now is like $600. Mm -hmm. Stupid. So what we want to do is maximize our, our effectiveness in our practice while minimizing our cost. So Tom Gibbons 200 point roundup on a B8 target, 20 rounds. This is a pretty simple drill. It is draw your firearm and fire 10 shots uh, with both hands, drop a hand off the gun, five ha shots support, or strong hand only, transition the gun, five shots support hand only oh at 10 yards, and that's it. And then we count up the score. The beginning level of this drill is no time pressure. Just get your hits and see if you can get as many points as you can. When you can do that and get 200 points, now you can start adding some time pressure. Maybe you say, hey, I'm going to do that each string in um, 10 seconds, or I'm going to do it each string in 20 seconds to get started, okay? We're going to do the basic version of this drill, no time pressure right now, and, and uh, that way everybody gets to see that. You can add time pressure if you want to. All right, so I'm going to start. Again, we start this one, draw, and no time pressure here. We want to get our hits. This is getting our hits first, then we can add time pressure later if we want. Remember, this is a warm-up drill. Okay, so here I am. I know I've got five rounds in the gun right now. I have a, a spare magazine in my back pocket because that's how I roll. So here we go. Gonna get all my hits. Aha, I only had five. That was terrible. Do you like that flinch? Five more. Okay, very good. So those are my 10 strong hand. Let's see about, uh, or, or uh, two hands. Let's see about strong hand only. Now again, pressure with the pinky. Get your dot to settle. I think that last, that second to last one pushed a little low. Uh, let's see, support hand only, same thing. All right, let's go down and score it, shall we? Oh, did I keep it? I think I caught it. Rules lawyer, I need a rules lawyer. I'm gonna give myself that one, it broke the line. What do you think? There you go. That's I'm gonna call that a rules lawyer, I think it broke the line. What do you think, John? You're the boss. All right, what do you think? Do you think it didn't? 199? I'd say, well, it's cracked through the line, so we'll give you that one. Yeah, it's 200 for John. Okay, so then I would want to add time pressure, of course, after that. Um, and and I, I know some people are going to ask, you know, uh, a single-handed technique. I just find, for me, my dot returns better with my thumb up high and pressing on the, the slide of the gun. It's a video for another day. Let's let John shoot it. All right, so you got that bottom left B8 there to, to finish chewing this target up. Okay. So 10 with both hands. All right. I'll Get set. your hits. Here we go. Okay, now drop your support hand off. We're going to do five with dominant hand only. He's wrong handed. That's okay. Okay. 
Switch hands. You got five more in the gun? Yep. Look at well, you, fancy extendo mags. Well, it'll be close. Probably have to add one here. Uh, uh, five more. All right. Don't do this very often. It's hard. Yeah, it's, it takes practice and dedication to the trigger press. Holster it up. Let's go and score it. So down one, two, three, four, five. So uh, 195. I, I call 195 pretty darn good score. That, now I know some people are going to ask why about why do I do support hand only shooting and especially because in private citizen gunfights I've literally never seen anybody do right. it. And and the answer is I, you don't have to. But what for me it does is it trains my stupid hand. And it does a couple things for me as an instructor. For all you instructors out there, when I train my stupid hand, which for me is my right hand, it makes me really think about my mechanics and really think about my fundamentals and reminds me when I'm coaching a student and I go, just do this. Sometimes their hands are not mm -hmm. just going to do that immediately. My, my stupid hand was up here. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I mean, these are the things that you do. So it's a great 20-round warm-up drill to get you going with not a lot of ammo.